Hello, welcome to Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. Today we are doing a let's play of Escape the Room, Secret of Dr. Gravely's Retreat. Uh, this is a from the Think Fun Escape the Room series, and the premise is that uh, we've been invited to this exclusive retreat uh, of sorts by the doctor, uh, but everything is not as it seems, as I'm sure we will soon discover. Uh, obviously, spoilers, so if you don't want any spoilers, don't watch this video because we're going to be solving the puzzles in the game. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so scene one, arrival at Foxcrest Retreat. The ride is a peaceful one, a scenic railway trip to the remote upland town where the world-renowned health retreat founded by the late Dr. Foxcrest is located. You and your friends pass the time chatting about how nice it will be to get a few days of rest and fresh mountain air. As you arrive at the train station, a smartly dressed porter on the platform points you toward the motor car parked outside. After a quick trip up the mountain, you arrive at Foxcrest Retreat. The facility seems lonely in a remote spot hidden by gray mountains and impossibly tall trees. A hostess meets you just inside the main lobby and escorts you to the office of the director of Fox Crest Retreat, Dr. Gravely. He should be along shortly. In the meantime, you pursue several brochures about the amenities that the retreat has to offer. Then suddenly the door office door slams shut. From somewhere out the hall, a woman screams. A man's voice shouts something in alarm and you hear quick fading footsteps. You rush to the office door only to find it's locked from the outside. You bang on the door and call out for help, but it is futile. Whoever locked it is no longer there. You look at the others in the, your group and you feel a sense of panic. Something has gone terribly wrong. So start the timer now. Oh, I already started it, so. Okay, I guess we're running a few seconds faster then. Um, realizing you're trapped, you begin looking around. Among the usual office trappings, you notice a narrow writing desk, an old, alcove with several marbled busts, a heavy iron safe, a strange metal door with frosted glass. You decide to investigate these things. Look closely at the illustrations on the four large envelopes, but do not open them yet. A key sits on top of the desk. Examine the keys. One should fit in the desk drawer. Use the solution wheel to find out. Start with the outer ring with the white symbol from the desk. Line up the colored symbols from the key on each of the four colored rings. When the four colored symbols from the key are lined up with the white symbol from the desk, you will see the same desk symbol through the two windows in the solution wheel. Congratulations, you have now solved the desk puzzle. You can open the desk envelope and dump out its contents. Now you're on your own. Okay, so this is the, this is the wheel that we'll use. And this is the desk. Mm -hmm. So one of those keys then matches this. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then this says to open if we the fail. timer runs out before we So um, let's make hope it. we don't have to open that. So which of those looks like it fits? Um. Probably the third from the... Not that one, not that one, not that one. I'd say that one. That one looks like it makes the most sense. Yeah, try it. So, tell me the symbols. It's three dots. So the top one is the three dots. Then okay. it's a target looking one. Uh, three dots, target. Then it's a cross. A uh, cross, or the plus sign? Yeah, plus sign. Okay. Um, And then Overlapping circles, like a Venn diagram kind of thing? Um, Venn diagram. Does that give us the desk symbol? It does not. Okay. Can I try? Yes. Um, give me the one that's just above that. Oh, I did the wrong symbol. Oh. I didn't do the Venn oh. diagram. I did like the two faces, vases. Mm-hmm. That's... There we go. Now we have the two desks. Great. So we can so, open it. Yes, once we 
So yeah, once it matches that, then we can open it. What do we get? We got some things. Um, and it's like most escape rooms where we might not use all of it. We until. have a letter. We have. Let's start reading this. A poem with a note, and we have another thing here. Um, this is the scene so it says the writing desk inside the desk you find very little certainly nothing that would open the door the desk is mostly empty the drawer contains only a note to the newly appointed director of the strange poem um and a strange poem that appears to have been removed from staff's personal correspondence you find it slightly disquieting that a health retreat would be reviewing the outgoing mail. Underneath the papers, you find what looks like the font piece of an iron safe. Or, sorry, front piece of an iron safe. Perhaps inside the safe, you can find a clue to your current alarming circumstances. If only you can get it open. So this is going to overlap here and give us the symbols that we need to Unlock this. Unlock the safe. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, okay, so what do... Um, do you want to read the poem? Like yeah. Read the letter? So this is a poem that one of the staff wrote to her brother to send in a letter and it is talking about how like everything's good here but in like a really ominous sort of way and so it feels like it's trying to say things are not all good here. Um, some of the letters are bolded which could just be like a trying to make the typewriter -y thing, or it could be um, meaningful. Let me get the paper. I should have got paper. Notepad. What does yours say? Uh, mine says that the key to the safe was changed to his birth date, so or birth year, so he won't forget it. Uh, so if you line this up, it has four numbers and then those are the symbols okay. so we need to know what his birth year what is the birth year is which i'm guessing is in this letter yeah or in the poem and it also says to watch out for margaret because she's been acting skittish yeah this is from margaret So should we write out the bold things? Yeah, so there's um, an R, E, A, D, T, H, I, S, B, O, T, T, O, M, T, O, T, O P. Read this bottom to top. Okay, so from bottom it says do you think like line by line bottom to top not completely backwards? So it says your sister will not survive while here at the center. Death I have found the founder is being held captive by mental sickness. To discover the final solution is all that is left. The director has used harmful practices. These are not beneficial and safe. 
he had found a technique that is, he told me, of a new method of combining medicine. The key is the founder's birthday. If he only searched for many answers that anyone could find, the founder knew the secret was not safe. The director made sure that illness, suffering are the goals here and not health and well-being. It's all about that here. Terrible. I know nothing happy here. Someday I imagine I will die here at Foxcrest. I love my life, so help me, dearest brother. So it emphasizes that the key is the founder's birthday. Um... It's his 45th birthday. Oh. Um, and it's 1913? 1913. Yeah, there's a birthday card here. It says happy birthday and it says 45th. Um, so. But I don't know if we know what, like, day of the... It doesn't. It's just the year. Oh, okay. It's just four numbers. So. So we need 1913 minus... Minus 45. Oh, I have to do math. Wait. Did I do that right? Oh. Um, so 1868? Yeah. And so do you think that's front to inside to outside? Um. 18. No. Can I give it a? Yeah. A world? I mean, that has all of them. That might be. And that's the safe so it's the safe puzzle. Let's try those icons. Yeah. So, what's the outside one is? Red. Red. So the red one's just the black dot. Black dot. What color is next? Yellow is yin and yang. Got it. Green is Green. the pine tree. Green is the pine tree, and then blue. Um, it's like a black circle with white sides cut out of it. Two faces. Or a vase. Yeah, it reminds me of like that candlestick thing. Is that Yes, it? that's it. Awesome. Cool. Because we got the safe. So we can open the so safe. Let's see what we have in the safe. Set this aside. Set aside the things that we've done up here. Yeah, so. In case we need to come back to them, but I don't think we would. Ooh, we have some pieces here to put together. Inside of the safe, we have these file folders for patients. Oh. Um, we have a thing to build. Um, inside the safe you find a few file folders and some oddly shaped tiles. You notice one of the tiles is covered in the same gaudy wallpaper as the alcove. Uh, so we're gonna have to find... Yeah. You notice... Oh, as you look over the contents of the safe, you are struck by the small photographs att attached to each file. The first is a handsome young man with a luring smile. The second, a lovely woman with soft, elegant features. The photograph is missing from the red file. There is a strange number noted under each an image, some of the of which are followed by a brief description and references to individuals as subjects. There is something altogether puzzling about the files, and you can't help but linger on them for a moment, wondering why a retreat would keep records of this sort on the guests. So I don't think it's a retreat. It seems like it's more an asylum. A kidnapping. Um. 
So I think this has to line up here somewhere, but I've tried a lot of spots and haven't quite found a match yet. Um, Real red. Well, I mean, there's also these things, so I think we have to use some of it. Hmm. And like, these seem like they might build something. Do you think? Um. I feel like this is going to give us this and then we're going to have a lot more stuff to work with. Yeah. So that But might... I think there has to be something that like helps us. Got it. Wait, how do you know that that is it? Because it's the only spot where it fits. Oh, oh, and the end Okay. You can keep reading that. Um. It seems like it's patient um, info. Yeah. So... Cross, and then the um, I'm gonna call that the uh, third echelon logo, <laughs> and then green is union. And the last one is the Venn diagram. Yep. Wow, this is pretty crazy stuff. What's going on with the patients? So they're being subjected to some sort of like experimental something. Like um, substance? I don't, can't quite tell. We opened the alcove, by the way. Yeah, cool. Um, but like... Um, they're becoming depressed, unresponsive. Um, um, there's cell doors. Oh, wow. That's... Keep reading that and then we'll do the... Um, no signs of improvement. But one of them, like, it starts out saying, like, subject's appearance is beginning to get... And then part of it's cut off by the other file. Facial tissue is becoming more full beginning to dim something is beginning to diminish um no increase in something but still very promising so like it seems like they're maybe not trying to harm them per se but like they're definitely going about this in an, like their research in an unethical way okay scene four the prisoners you hear a loud click as the tiles slide into alignment with the back panel of the alcove Suddenly, the alcove rumbles and shifts slightly, exposing a pale light coming from behind the wall. You push the wall and it swings away, revealing a dimly lit brick corridor with four heavy metal doors, each with a grate in the center, made of thick bars. All of the doors have strange locking mechanisms. As you walk down the hallway, you are startled by a shuffling sound coming from behind the doors. You cautiously lean in and peer through one of the grates. Help me, cries the voice in a loud whisper. A pair of wild panicked eyes rushed forward into the light. You notice some kind of iron sh collar of or shackles. The eyes squint and retreat into the shadows. Please help me. You must get me out of here. You've stumbled on some kind of prison. You must get the cell doors open and free these poor people. What is this place? Okay. So yeah, these each have a code that we have to open somehow and we don't yet know how to get out open the, the laboratory okay oh a key look that kind of goes like that oh it makes does it make a full lock mm, no i think you might be on to something i mean does it I mean, I think that's something. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. Not sure what it means yet. Um, well, it's got... Do you think it's just the corner symbols? The symbols in the corner? Maybe. Or the symbols next to it? Um. Oh, it's pointing. It's kind of pointing. Right? It's pointing at... Mm. So, you want to try it? 
Yes. Do you so want to I'll try it. I know I've been doing it. What's the symbol for that one? Lock. The lock. So red Venn diagram. Okay. And then yellow black dot. Solid. Okay. And then green uh, cross. The plus sign? Yeah. Green plus. And then the blue is the uh, biohazard sign? No. It's the... 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's right. Oh. Cool. What's in the blue door? It's going to be a prison. A person, isn't it? Okay. Um, yes, here's our person. Oh. Um. Oh, it's a puzzle. It's an actual physical puzzle. Am I supposed to get this off I, without bending it? I think so. This, this was used, so someone may have cheated at some point. Because I think what we need to know is on the inside. I don't know how you do this without bending it. It's like those, like those metal fidget thing. Like it's a puzzle. Ooh, that. Yeah. That looked like it was working. Can you get like this out of the way? Um, I don't know. And if you don't have this, is like a... Oh, I accidentally bent it. It was very hard to do without bending it. You can put it back. <laughs> <laughs> well... We cheated. Um, I don't actually know how it went back. How was it? I don't um. even know how it was in there. <laughs> how do you accidentally pull it out? Well, because it was all, it's already bent, like you said, and so I was just trying to like pull it a certain way and it kind of just came out. Cheating. Didn't mean to. Okay. Um, they probably should have made that plastic, but would have cost more. Yeah. Um. Can I try? Does this go through here? I don't know if it could without bending. You're probably right. I also don't know how you would do this. Like, it says three to eight people. I feel like there's not really a whole lot to do with. With that many people? Yeah. I think what you were doing was, was I feel like what you were doing was working. Maybe not. Mm, yeah. Are you getting it? Yeah. You you just you had it. Okay. Is that the man the in the collar? After some effort, you manage to free the man imprisoned with the iron collar. He immediately runs to one wall and begins to run his hands over the cold stone. The man's eyes shift continuously as he mutters, and you are only able to catch quick snippets of coherent thought. 3104, he knows. 3104, the green cell knows. 30104. The man goes silent, closes his eyes, and rests his forehead against the wall. We must get out. Must get out. 
So green cell. Three one oh four. Three one oh four. But that's only three numbers. Three one oh four. That's four numbers. If we're counting zero as a uh, number. What three, does this one look like? But there's no one. Okay. So three Oh, there's no, there's no one or four. Um, I think we have to figure it out because these are all in an order, like, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, oh. So we, we know three, you're right. What's three? So three, so actually let's do the red one first because that's the outside. Okay. So O is the target. Okay. Um, and then, so three is the green, three is the, what is it, like toxic symbol thing? Is that, is that the toxic symbol? Do you think it has to be in that order though? So like from this top one, we have to figure out what three is. Yeah. Um, and so, but then which one of these is three and which one is four? Three, one, oh, four. Oh. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's tricky. Okay. So if zero is the target, then we have to go three over from that, right? Yes. Okay, I think I got that one. So one, if you start at yin yang, mm -hmm. um, then one would be seven, eight, nine, there's 10. How many are there? Well, I think there's more than nine or 10 or whatever, but I think with each of these, it's like starting with whatever it shows us and just like counting up nine or whatever from there. And so if we start with yin and yang and then we have to go back eight, you're right, we'd have to go back. So, so seven, seven, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So you went how many? Wait, what number? I just counted one. Oh. So then the next one we start with. Wait, from Yin Yang? Yes. Was Yin Yang was seven. Um, so then zero, this one is two. So the crescent moon is, is two. Two. So that's pretty easy. I just got to go back one, two, and then the last one is four and it starts on the blue dot. So it would be this weird ladybug. Oh, cool. Thing. Is that it? No. No? Hmm, we got something wrong then. May I? Yes. Okay. So what are the numbers? Sorry. Three. Three. Right. Okay, so. The three might have been the one I got wrong because I wasn't sure whether to count up or down, I guess. Okay, so we need to go, so that's eight, seven, six. That might have been, though. Okay, and then the other one. I think I know what the other symbols were. Okay. 
Yin, yang. What was the other symbol then? Um. This was the second to last one. I didn't rotate any of them. I didn't rotate any of the middle three. Oh. So if you just remember the order, it should line up. Um, maybe I don't remember because okay. it's not how I thought. So the next number is one. Okay. So one, we have to start with here and go six. Okay. Zero. Zero, so we have to start up the moon. And go. Okay. And Number then. Four. Four is the ladybug thing. Hmm. No. Did I start it? Uh, did it? Okay. There's twelve symbols. So we got it. Yeah. Um. Did not cheat. It. The video just stopped. Anyway. Okay. So we have another puzzle. This is another person? Yeah. Oh, these are scary. Well, yeah, they're each going to be a person. Yeah, they're, they are, they need help. Ooh, that's folded up. Prisoner bound in the street jacket proves. Oh, did I show the? So yeah. this is the next one. Um, um, freeing the prisoner bound in the street jacket proves difficult as she shies away from you the entire time. Once free, she turns towards you, and you are unable to avoid a gasp of horror. The woman is horribly disfigured with gross, grotesque lesions covering one side of her face. As you recover from your initial shock, the woman drops and crawls toward the far corner of the cell. Looking over her shoulder, you see the tracings. Um, you see she is tracing again and again rough marks scratched into the brick wall. She looks back at you, pleading between tracings, as if trying to tell you something. Um, oh. So there's a lot of R's and the numbers nine, eight, two, one. Nine, eight, two, one. This has okay. R is probably for red, right? I would think so. So it seems pretty Nine. straightforward. Let me see which one is this. Okay. Do you think we'll need these? They might have just been to kind of foreshadow what was going to happen. Flavor. Nine. I'm guessing the yellow door is next. Eight. Two. That doesn't feel This like... could be a little easier to turn. One. Correct. Cool. More puzzles pieces? We still don't know what this does yet. Oh, this poor guy has a thing on his head. Oh.
I feel like that didn't. Did that make it worse? Um, I don't think so. Maybe. <laughs> um, I don't know how you do this. I mean, it's just. Uh, no, I don't think that didn't. You just have to. Things like these always blow my mind because I look at it and like there's no possible way you can do this, but then you can, and it's crazy. Yeah, I don't think that the other one that we did had physical puzzles just like this. Ah. Uh. Uh. more of these yellow pieces. Um, the lock is war old and worn, but eventually you release it and remove the cruel iron helmet. Beneath the mask is a frail old man, his skin pale and damp from confinement. The man reaches into the helmet and withdraws two small metal pieces that he must have hidden there. He looks at you with clear lucid eyes, but says nothing. You can't help but think you've seen his face somewhere before. Is, the Is he the founder? Probably. I bet he's the founder. Um, okay, so, so these are going to somehow help us figure out. Is it the key? No. How does that help us? Oh. Is that making a key? It looks like it's making a key. It does look like it's making a key. It's making a key that's going to open this. It's going to block out certain symbols. I see, I see. May I? Bring it over here. Just flip it. And this is key puzzle. Key. So it's red target. I think it oh yeah, it is. Weird. Um, the problem is that the top one doesn't. Oh, are they? Th they're in the wrong order then. No, it still doesn't seem right. Maybe. And this is how we had it. Doesn't cover. Oh, there we go. Okay, so red target. Wait, that's giving us two symbols. Well, maybe just turn it the other way. Uh, this way? Yeah, so it goes up. No. Oh, I think it would be the one inside of the keyhole. I just, no, I don't know how we know. Oh, you're probably correct. So it's one of these two. It's probably, um, probably, it probably was this one you were, yeah, I was just overthinking it. So, 
it's um, um, so it's the third echelon, three dots, and then three dots again, and then the two faces bases thing. And then the Venn diagram. I love how we've come up with names for these. No. No? Should we flip it over? Yeah. Yeah, flip it over and let's just try that before we try anything else. Okay. Um, plus sign. Uh, three dots. The vases, faces, mm -hmm. and then a solid dot. Also, no. What? How? I feel like that's the only thing that works. Oh, the key out line is right there. Uh, veil. Okay. So, we had the key correct, just not. We didn't realize that there was a spot it went in. Oh wait, this is messed up. I messed something up. There, and that one goes there, and this one goes there. Okay, so yin yang, biohazard thing, uh, Venn diagram. And then three dots. Okay. Is that it? Yes. <sighs> We're gonna get out of here before anyone even realizes anything's wrong. Okay. Hmm? It's just uh, huh. beds. You work on the last door and it opens, revealing a final and largest cell. It's unoccupied, but for a few metal frame beds. Each bed has a ragged tunic on it, the same as worn by each of the prisoners you freed. You now realize with a start that there are the same number of beds as people in your group. This is what awaits if Dr. Gravely catches you. Are there zombies? There better not be zombies. There's... I don't think there's zombies. Look at what's on the cover. Oh. Um. So I guess we run back to try to get out of here. So is there a way out? How do we open the door? That's all it says. Is there something that was supposed to give us clues to the door at some point? On the floor, there's a yin and yang, and it's yellow. Oh. So that means that lab door. So that means we've probably missed something and all that. There's got to be other symbols. Um, Is there a symbol on the red person somewhere? Um, yeah, we've probably missed a symbol somewhere. Oh, she has the um, uh, biohazard symbol. Okay, so we're gonna go. What is this the lab door? Lab door has a yellow yin yang. 
in the green biohazard. Which means I'm sure that there is one on these It's two. got to be a blue somewhere. So it doesn't have to be on them. It could be on like the door. It could be on the door. I'll check the door. Or like the dossier. On the door. Yeah, the door doesn't really have anything. Oh, what about the the thing that we pulled off of it? That has oh, something on it. Maybe. No. Yes. Yeah, it's the dot. Oh, I just thought that was a hole punch. No, it's a real dot. Okay, so the dot, and, then and we just need the, the red. For the... That wasn't on the red one, though. No. Oh, it oh. was the long one. This, this one. Um, the target. Oh, wow. I feel like we put that together pretty quick. Yeah, even though this is like pretty subtle. Okay. Okay, and then the safe cracker yep got Yay! it are we gonna get out i feel like that envelope's too fat it's for us to fat. get out just now oh there's a machine and is this person trying to get immortality i feel like they're trying to get, gain immortality these things circuits mm -hmm. okay Scene nine, escape. The prisoners follow you back into Dr. Gravely's office and watch as you try the clues from each of their cells on the laboratory door opposite the alcove. While none of their minds are entirely intact, somehow each prisoner of the prisoners managed to record a portion of the correct combinations. The laboratory door um, lock clicks and eases over so ever so slightly open. You enter the lab and are shocked to find a young woman unconscious and locked inside a large metal box with only her head exposed. She's wearing the uniform headpiece of Foxcrest's nursing staff. Oh, is it Margaret? Though it has been knocked askew. You notice the other prisoners seemed frightened of the box in which the nurse is sealed. They're clearly keeping their distance as they edge around towards the doorway um, on the opposite side of the room. As they come close to the door all three prisoners begin to motion to you as they push the door open it looks like they know the way out but what about the nurse trapped in the strange machine so now we have two options option a will you escape this frightening establishment now and run for help or option b will you try and f free the nurse from the bizarre machine i, I feel like we have to try to free i the feel nurse. like if we run for help it's a game over yeah so we gotta free the nurse Option B. You tell the freed prisoners to flee to safety, but you must stay and help the poor woman. The prisoners all hurry out the door, except for the old man who slowly walks back to you. He still says nothing, but looks at you as though he understands why you've chosen to stay. You turn back towards the nurse. The bizarre box encasing her seems to crackle with an electrical energy coursing through it. The lock keeping the machine shut does not seem to be receiving any power. However, and thus, um refuses to open. On one side is an exposed panel with some incomplete sections of copper wiring. Perhaps the connected wire will power the locks. It says reset the timer for 30 minutes and start it. Okay. If you run out of time and decide to flee before you can free the nurse, open option C. So I guess this would be option C. Okay, well, I've been working on this one, and it seems like we just have to line up the icons. So machine is this gurney thing. Um, you want to tell me what they are? Yeah. So red is the crescent moon. Okay. And then yellow is next. Mm-hmm. Yellow. Nope, it doesn't match. 
I need to find the ones that match, I guess. Yellow is biohazard. Green. Nope. Mm. Green is ladybug. Ladybug, ladybug. And then blue, I believe is, I had blue earlier. Um, it just happened to be aligned, so I know it's, it's the, the lightning, lightning bolt. <laughs> it's the lightning, yeah. Cool. Oh, another thing? Yeah. Ooh, now we have vials. Okay. Nurse Margaret. The lock on the side of the machine sparks to life and flips open. You pry apart the heavy metal sides of the box and lift the nurse upright. She begins to awaken and you notice a small name tag printed with Margaret pinned to her uniform. Could this be the same Margaret who wrote the odd poem on the director's desk? She appears extremely weakened and clutches your arms tightly for support, unable to bear her own weight. As she looks at you, she is barely able to whisper a thank you before she again slumps forward as though struggling to remain conscious. You begin helping her walk towards the laboratory exit, but suddenly she grabs the shelf you're walking by. The antidote, she gasps, pointing towards the shelf. The shelf is full of dozens of labeled test tubes filled with a variety of unfamiliar liquids. Nurse Margaret continues to motion towards the shelf, while all, all while mumbling something you can't understand. As she lifts her head, she catches sight of the old man. Her eyes suddenly go wide with startled recognition. It almost appears as she is happy to see him, but the strain is too much and Nurse Margaret slips into unconsciousness again. The old man says nothing, looking forlornly at the unconscious figure. You know she does not have much time, but how can you find the antidote from all these tubes? Is there any Is it a combination of them? And why is the nurse so surprised by the old man? Who is he? Um, well, that seems like it gives us a whole lot of nothing. There's numbers associated. So are there numbers from anywhere we haven't used yet? I don't think so. Where's the nurse's cryo chamber thing? Um... We haven't used this yet. Oh, that does have a lot of numbers on it. Um, yeah, I'm guessing it's from this. I would guess it's the red file because there is not a picture. Ooh. And so it might be her. So which numbers do you think we might? Um, or those might have just been the people in the doors. Oh, but this is the founder. So that's why there's no picture. Oh, oh that makes sense. But it still might be the code. Oh, because it said in the letter, it said the code was the founder's birthday. So then those are the numbers. Um, so 12, red 12, yellow 28, green 18, blue 53. Um, what was the yellow? 28. Cool. So lightning bolt. Light 
lightning. Crescent moon. Crescent. Um, black dot. And dot. And Venn diagram. Yeah. Venn diagram. Okay. Yep, that's it. Yay! Did we yeah, get it? Yeah, it was like the director's birthday, but also it said the founder's birthday. Um, I think that this is all this in there. Carefully, you combine the contents of four test tubes into a large beaker. Warily, you pour some of the liquid into Nurse Margaret's mouth, knowing this may be the only way to save her. Thankfully, she begins to cough and waken after only a few small sips. We must leave, she says, and points to the exit. Bring the rest of the antidote. We'll need it for the others. You manage to leave the center and flee um, to the safety of the dense forest surrounding the health retreat. There, you find a worried the worried prisoners awaiting you. Slowly, you all make your way back into town and to the local police station. As you share your frightening adventure with the constable, Nurse Margaret begins to administer the antidote to the other prisoners. That's quite a tale, says the constable. It's all true, says the nurse, as she share, share, begins to share the horrific tale of the ongoings um, at Foxcrest. The tr retreat had long been trying to develop healthy, natural treatments to help guests look and feel younger. All this was done under the careful guidance of the founder, Dr. Foxcrest. The treatments were developing, but not fast enough for his assistant, Dr. Gravely, who became obsessed with finding a way to permanently avoid growing old. The treatments Dr. Gra Gravely used slowly became more and more dangerous. He eventually kidnapped several of the guests, hiding them away to test his most extreme experiments. When the founder, Dr. Foxcrest, discovered what was going on, Dr. Gravely imprisoned him and faked his death, using the founder as one of his subjects and hiding his face in a mask in case anyone should find him. This, the nurse said, smiling at the old man, is Dr. Foxcrest. This, after several treatments of the antidote, the other prisoners regained enough awareness to verify Nurse Margaret's account. The police returned to Foxcrest and arrested Dr. Gravely, catching him attempting to destroy the evidence of his ghastly crimes. After a brief period of recovery, Dr. Foxcrest resumes control and restores the retreat to its original practice of helping to relieve and rejuvenate those in need. Congratulations, you have solved the secret of Foxcrest retreat and escaped the room. The end. Yay, with about 22 minutes to spare. Cool. More if we hadn't had reset it, because we were at 37 when it told us to reset to 30. <laughs> I want to see what the other options yeah, I are. I want to see. I bet it. I bet we die. So if we escape I bet we, now, I bet we die. We get trapped. Um, this is if we didn't decide to free the nurse. The prisoners lead you quickly out of the lab, down the hallway, and out the side door. Once outside, you take refuge in the misty forest and begin making your way back to the little town where you first arrived. The hike down the mountain is slow going, but you avoid the road to stay hidden, and eventually make it into town. The local constable is reluctant to believe your story at first, but eventually agrees to return with you and investigate your claims. The constable and a few other policemen follow you back to Fox Crest Retreat, where you show them the lab. There you find the nurse has died while trapped inside the strange metal box. A tragedy with prompts further investigation. The authorities discover enough evidence of the bizarre treatments given at the phony health retreat to close it down, preventing any further harm from before following any other guests. Congratulations, you have succeeded in closing down Fox Trust Retreat and you have escaped the room. And then if we hadn't freed the nurse in 30 minutes. That's the bad ending. Um, oh. Try as you might, you cannot help the nurse, nor find any clues in the lab that might help you. As you search for an answer, you notice that the nurse's breath is becoming more and more strained. She needs help. Quickly, you run down the hall and out the side door. You manage to flee into the safety of the surrounding forest where the other prisoners await. Slowly, you make your way back down the mountain into town where the locals hurry to your aid. Upon seeing the horrible condition of the prisoners, you have little trouble convincing the local authorities that all is not well at the health retreat. 
Further investigation reveals enough evidence to arrest Dr. Gravely and close down the facility before anyone else can get hurt. Um, so this... We're just doing all the spoilers. <laughs> we run out. Carefully you review the items that you have carefully uncovered in Dr. Gravely's office and begin trying to make sense of what is going on. You're concentrating so intensely that you fail to hear the approaching footsteps until you are just outside the locked off until they are just outside the locked office door. You whirl around just as the door unlocks and the director enters the office. I see you've taken the opportunity to learn a little bit more about the new treatments offered here at Foxcrest Retreat says Dr. Gravely with a cold, ominous smile. I know you will enjoy your stay. In fact, I have a special room drawn up for you, and I'm very anxious to try out some special arrangements. It appears that you may be here for some time as you are unable to escape the room. All right. Well, that's that. Exciting. And thank you so much for watching the video. This is uh, Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. Hope to see you again in another video. Take care.